The Maldives is a bucket list destination for so many. So after Dubai, with so few countries open, we thought it was the perfect time to put our saved up credit card points to use and make the long trip over to the Maldives. It's happening! <laughs> This was the trip of a lifetime, but just like all of our other travels, it wasn't gonna be without speed bumps. So Qatar Airways and the Maldives requires a COVID test 96 hours in advance in order to go there. Qatar Airways though has two unique rules about getting a COVID test though. You have to get a COVID test from their specific laboratory, even in foreign countries, and specifically for Turkey, you had to get a COVID test within 48 hours before boarding the plane. We made it to the airport, we were able to get checked in, get to the lounge, even had everything ready to get to the Maldives. I really, really can't believe that we were able to pull this off with the credit card points. I'm so super thankful. Boarding is going to begin soon for the first of three flights today. Third one's a little bit unique and we can't wait for that one. If you're going to go to the Maldives, it's a Muslim country and they don't let you bring alcohol in from outside at all. It's restricted simply to the resorts that there are for the tourists. Don't buy some at duty free. They're going to take it away from you. Yeah. Yeah. See, nobody next to us, so it's just Gokin and I, of course, had to move closer to her <laughs> because I get separation anxiety, obviously. About to take off to Doha. We got to Qatar airport right now. We have for about two and a half hours of layover and this airport is really, really impressive. Fortunately, in between flights, we were able to come to this lounge and grab free drinks and food thanks to Priority Pass. Not one, but two masks. That's how we travel in 2021, unfortunately, but thankfully we're off the plane. We could relax just a little bit before our next flight. Now we are going to the gate and gonna hop on the next plane. <laughs> That guy is loud. We were on the last call. Glad we made it in time, but this is the first time I saw the last call on the board. Steve never does that. Oh my god. Look at this. This is my seat. We're almost there. Barely slept. It's gonna be a uh, fun next few hours, that's for sure. Warm enough for you? Yes, pretty warm. Okay. There are probably like 30, 40 people just holding different tags. And we can't find our hotel. We finally found our hotel check-in, and after a quick COVID check, they took care of everything and made sure we were ready for our last and most special flight. Can I take it? Pretty relaxing, it's going to be. <laughs> From here on out, yeah. 11 hours of travel, just a little bit of sleep. We're both exhausted. Gokshi is actually napping right now. We made it to the last leg of our journey though. The only thing left is the seaplane transfer from the main Maldives island over to our hotel's island. And in the meantime, we get to wait in their own lounge here at the seaplane terminal. We are at the most exciting part of our journey right now. We're gonna hop on a seaplane. It's a little nerve wracking because obviously we've never done that before. So it's a very unique experience. It's happening! <laughs> Look at this, like a boat, you hop on them from here. Look at this, the cockpit is right open. There's no door here. This is so cool. Passing the seat, past holding, and it's no smoking flight. We have two resorts people on our plane here and uh, Ooh, the fan turned on. So it's probably gonna get a little bit too noisy for us to talk, so we'll see you at the Conrad.
Merhaba. Talk about a welcome drink. <laughs> Coconut drink. This is really good. Well done. Going to our room. Finally. It took like how many hours so far? A lot of hours. <laughs> We're going to our room. Finally made it. Maldives has some other room types they would like to walk us through and they are waiting for us right now outside so we're gonna go check out those rooms as well. Insurance outdoor show. That's amazing. This is surreal. What do you think? 